Hello. Now, we're sure that uh, some of you have uh, come in contact with an RAR file. Windows XP might have it, I don't know. I don't think it does, but anyway. Um, it's kind of like Windows but I personally don't like the RAR files, but I know that a lot of uh, files you download off the internet are in RAR format, and Windows doesn't come with the program standard to open those files. So if you download it off the internet, you just have this little white unknown file on your desktop or wherever you save it. Well, today I have a solution for you. There is programs out there to open RAR files, but most of them you have to pay for. There's a couple or, or a couple that I know of that you can get, but the best one, which is the simplest program I've ever seen on the computer so far, is called Hot Knife. I don't think computers get any more simpler than this. This is like as simple as you can possibly get right here. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to download it now. First of all, you want to open up the internet. Hold on. Got to move this little window here. All right. So you double click the internet. Now, you can try any search engine you want, but Google, I think, is the best. Type in. Well, if you want to download this program specifically, then just type in Hot Knife. Hold on a second, maybe that's not it. Okay, never mind, it's called Open Knife. Now I look like an idiot on my own video. I know. Hold on a second. Alright, let's try this again. Start over. I want to teach you about a program called Open Knife. Yeah, okay. Alright, anyway, go to Google. Um, type in Open Knife. Or if you want to do some fancy stuff, type in like RAR file opener. Meanwhile, if you want to download Open Knife, you click on this link. Today on... October 8th, 2010, it is the second link on the page on Google. Meanwhile, click there. And then click on the download button. Click on the download button. And then click download again. I don't know if you can see this window or not. It's one of those little security things. If you can see this, click on run. Unless you want to save it and put it on another computer or something. Meanwhile, you click run. I would click run, but I already have it. And it's going to uninstall it. Anyway, after you get that installed, I uh, want to um, show you an example of how it works. Hold on. I want to download an RAR file so I can show you how to use this. It's so simple. Okay, free RAR downloads. Hold on. Uh, take a look at this real quick. They want $139 for a program on the internet that isn't even guaranteed to work when there's free ones out there that are probably better than it. Take my advice. Do not ever buy programs on the internet. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And it's only four megabytes. Alright, now hold on a second. I'm having trouble here finding an RAR file. I know one RAR file that I downloaded. I couldn't find this song anywhere else. It's called Rock and Roll Paradise by Stormbringer. I couldn't find that song anywhere. I couldn't even find it on LimeWire, man. So what I did was I typed it in on here. Hold on.
It's somewhere wrong here. Anyway, I, I downloaded the file and it was in an RAR, RAR format. And, uh, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna look in the recycle bin and see if I can find it. Okay, right here is the file I was talking about, right here. Now we need to open the program. Now as you see, it doesn't get any more simpler than this. Simply drag the file over the program and then let go of the mouse. And then right here is your file. All of these songs were in that RAR file. My friend, it does not get any simpler than that. And the program is 100% free, by the way, so you ain't got to worry about no little trial things, no uh, credit card fraud, stuff like that, because it's all free. And uh, hopefully you have virus protection, but if you don't, you don't even have to worry about it with this because there's no viruses that I've found. And... Um, Meanwhile, a long time ago, I made a video about how to get free virus protection, AVG. It is a good program. I will, Even though it's free, it is a good program. It's better than a lot of stuff out there, like Webroot, which is what I have, and I paid $50 for it, too. Right, um... Hold on, let me find it real quick. Webroot is a very simple program to work, but it's not that great. Meanwhile, I uh, I hope you enjoyed my video because um, I don't know. I enjoy making videos, and I just wish that somebody would at least watch them. Meanwhile, have a nice day, and uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, send me a message or leave a comment. And make sure you subscribe and push the little thumbs up button, please. Thank you very much. Have a very, very, very nice day.